Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. When you first start out climbing, you're likely to rent, borrow or even steal your equipment. But at some point, you're going to want your own kit. And if you're a rope climber, getting a harness is an essential purchase. But there are loads out there and some of them for very specific types of climbing. So today we're looking at our top three favourite beginner harnesses that will help you improve at our sport. Harnesses come in all shapes and sizes, from the ridiculously lightweight and streamlined for your difficult red point sends or alpine climbing, to massive padded things for hanging around on a big wall. And that's great if you do that type of climbing. But as a beginner, you just don't know yet. So what you're looking for is a harness that does a bit of everything, and there are some features you want to look out for. Most of the harnesses we have here are adjustable in the waist and the legs. So that means you can put them over bigger, bulkier clothes like Gore-Tex layers or strip it down and tighten it up for Spanish sport climbing. You want at least four gear loops so you can put lots of equipment and decide if you like trad or sport or whatever it is. Price is important. Let's be honest, you might not like climbing in a couple of months, so you don't want to be spending a fortune on your first piece of gear. And durability, that should be at the forefront. When I first started climbing, I bought one of the harnesses in front of me and until I started getting them for free, it was literally my only harness. It did everything and it lasted me for years and it was in that beginner spectrum of harnesses. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's have a look at our first harness. It's an absolute classic, one of my favorites, the Black Diamond Momentum. The Momentum has been tweaked and improved over the years. The medium version weighs in at 302 grams and it comes in men and women's versions. The harness is fully adjustable with both leg and waist buckles so you can tweak it for your personal fit. The waist belt is made with dual core construction, two strips of webbing that run parallel to each other. The same technology is also in the leg loops and this provides comfortable padding and weight distribution. The leg adjustment has a special system with plastic buckles that slide back and forth, making it very quick and easy to adjust. There are four pretty rigid gear loops all the same size and although they aren't the largest, it should be enough for a moderate rack. This Black Diamond Momentum looks very different from the one I bought years ago, but the basic principles of it have stayed the same. It tries to do a little bit of everything, giving you, the climber, options to learn different parts of our sport. The padding is good but not over bulky, but not over thin at the same time. And the gear loops, I'm actually a fan of them. Although they aren't the biggest in the world, I like the uniform shape and you can easily put a decent trad climbing rack, especially if you live in the UK. Because of the adjustability, it can be done for mountaineering or skiing, and, and honestly, this thing will just last you a long time. This harness once again hits the value criteria, round about 53 euros on the Epic TV shop, so it won't break the bank. If you're starting completely from scratch, we also have a package deal on the Epic TV shop, which comes with bidet plate and chalk and everything you need at a very good price. But alone, the momentum is round about 52 euros, so definitely on the budget conscious side of things, which is good. Okay, harness number one done, harness number two, and it's the Petzl Corax. The Petzl Corax is aimed more at climbers who don't really know their specialism yet. It's got different style of gear loops and buckle adjustments, and all that adds to the weight, meaning the medium is 470 grams. It's highly adjustable, with two waist buckles and buckles on the legs. This allows you to really adjust the fit. And if you're into Scottish winter climbing, for example, a harness like this will allow you to put on big, bulky, waterproof clothes. Comfort is the key with this harness, and it uses frame technology to distribute your weight evenly, and there is a soft material on the inside of the leg and waist loops. The Corax has four gear loops. Two more rigid, smaller front ones and large, flexible ones at the back. It also has ice screw carry slots, which again improve the versatility of it, although you'll have to buy those separately. 
The Corax is undoubtedly bulkier and heavier than all of the harnesses here on the test, but there's a reason for that. This suits people who just don't know what kind of climbing they want to do. Those massive rear gear loops, the ones that are floppy, well, that can hold a huge trad rack or multiple quick draws, depending on the type of sport you're doing. And the adjustability, especially on the waist, means you can shove on a massive jacket. Therefore, if you've just started climbing, you're in the gym a lot, you're going outside with different people, sometimes sport, sometimes trad, maybe even mountaineering, the Corax is a bit more versatile than that BD Momentum. Okay, final harness on test, and it is the DMM Trance. The DMM Trance takes a different approach to this beginner category. They describe it as a lightweight performance harness, and it will suit you sport climbers out there more than the trad heads. It weighs in at 340 grams for the medium version and comes in a love or hate it purple and yellow color scheme. The anchor points are reinforced with Dynatech to improve durability when falling multiple times and working routes. Although DMM say there are five gear loops, there are four proper ones and a rear chalk loop. These loops are semi-rigid and the same size. There's also a vault rack slot for ice clipper tools. Although there is adjustability on the waist belt, the leg loops are fixed. This won't be a problem for most people, especially sport climbers, but you won't be able to adjust it if you're wearing bulkier trousers. The DMM Trance does take a different approach from the other harnesses. DMM have a great reputation amongst the climbing community and you can see that quality in this. It's thinner and streamlined than the other two and definitely designed more for sport climbers. That lack of leg adjustability might be an issue for some of you out there if you want a harness that can do mountaineering as well and don't know the size of your trousers that you're gonna be wearing. Okay, so to sum it up, and this is a tricky one with these three, I'd say the Black Diamond Momentum perhaps is the sport climbing slash all-rounder. Get this if you're interested in trad and mountaineering, but really your main focus is on gym and sport climbing. The Corax just does everything. Yes, it's bulkier, yes, it's heavier, but if you have no idea what kind of climbing you're gonna get into, this is a great first harness as it will never let you down. And if you are purely a sport head, you're in the gym all the time, you're not often racking drawers, and when you are, it's only for sport, well, the DMM Trance is a good choice for you. Okay, that's the three options we've had a look at. Let us know down in the comments below if you agree with us. And of course, as always, if you wanna buy anything you see on the show, there are links in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.